Well, it was a great week of Bengal basketball, but now it's time to switch gears from the court to the field. The Idaho State football team is coming off a close win to Southern Utah last week and looking to use that road win momentum to take down a tough Eastern Washington team. Both teams are one and one so far this season, but Eastern Washington sits at the number two spot in the conference and is currently ranked 16th nationally in the FCS polls. Eastern Washington quickly gets on the board and they are up by 10 in the first five minutes of this game. But ISU wasn't going to let that shake them. Bengals offense ready to go. Quarterback Tyler Vanderwall connects with senior Tanner Connor who takes it all the way to the end zone for the Bengals first touchdown. On Idaho State's next offensive possession, Vanderwall hits Xavier Giori, who finds room down the sideline for another Bengal touchdown. He had nine receptions tonight. ISU takes the lead after that one. Vanderwall seems so much more calm and collective leading his offense today since we saw him last play in Holt against Weber State. He was throwing accurate passes and his chemistry was really grown with his receivers, especially Tanner Connor and Jalen Henderson. The Bengals led 21 to 17 with less than a minute to go in the half. Eastern Washington was closing in on the goal line when freshman Josh Alford picks it off in the end zone to keep Idaho State in the lead. It was an exciting football game in Holt today. Idaho State led 42 to 31 in the fourth quarter, but Eastern Washington came back to score two touchdowns plus a two point conversion to win this one in the final seconds. Final score 46 to 42. Good job by Eastern Washington. Uh, that's a quality team that's got they prepare for the playoffs every year and and, and that shows where we got to get to in order to uh, uh, to get to that level. You know, uh, Coach Best has a has a great group of receivers and a very a very strong defense. And uh, like I said, they uh, they're a playoff. Uh, they they prep themselves for the playoffs and and that just shows uh, you know we're 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 gonna, we're going to get to that level. Uh, uh, we didn't we weren't there today. I was very proud of them. They were composed. Um, for a freshman group, you wouldn't even think they're a freshman group out there. They play so well um, and composed, and they make big plays. So I was super proud of the guys. Such a bitter ending, but a really excited ball game in Holt Arena tonight. The Bengals have an extra week to prepare for UC Davis with a bye next weekend before they head to California to take on the Aggies. And just like that, spring football season is already halfway over. That's all I got for you tonight. Julian, take it away. All right.